Okay, what we're going to tie up is a um, Peeping Caddis version. It's one of my favourite little versions. In the vise we've got a size 12 hook, 3.2mm uh, gold bead. And what we're going to do is just catch in some black UTC70 behind the eye and just bring it up a little bit. Just going to trim that off there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a pheasant tail. Just grab you know, four, six fibers. Just yank them out. It's going to be too neat. What we want to do is just grab the tips, bring them over, move the bead out of the way. Just going to position those over the eye and pinch and loop. Don't worry about lengths or anything like that. It's just going to literally cover the top of the bead, a bit of a thorax cover. So you can take that back down to the eye. Trim off the butt sections. Take the thread up a little again. And bring it back down to the eye. It's just going to help the bead sit more central on the hook. Bring the thread behind the bead. And then take it down the body. And we want to roughly end up opposite the barb. Somewhere there, be fine. Now, for the butt section, what we want to take is a piece of green chenille and a lighter. We just want to shringe the end, singe the end even, not shringe. Okay, don't want to go too mad, otherwise it just burns completely away. Now a little added touch on the end of these is to get a little bit of UV resin and just wipe it onto the end. It doesn't need to be much. It helps stop it fraying. And then what we want to do is just blast it with a torch. That's it. Nice and dry. Then what we want to do is position this in just past the bend of the hook. Bring the thread up, pinch and loop, get you into place. A couple of turns will hold that. Roughly mark it out and just trim it off. And what we do is we just take the thread up over the top of the chenille so it tucks in behind the bead, forming a base for the body. And take the thread back down to about where we started, somewhere there. Next, a little partridge hackle. And remove all the rough fibers from the bottom. Then taking the very tip, just separate the fibers. What we're going to do is turn it around and catch that in. Turned around, hold it in place, and then trim away those little pieces. Now for a rib, what I've got is just is some two pound mono, just some off cuts, and what we're going to do is just going to catch that in at that point. Just pull it back a little bit. So again, everything is in opposite the barb. Now we're going to take this, pull all the fibres back, just fold them all back with your finger, 
And what we're going to do is we're going to take this around. Once. Twice. Then we're going to bring the thread over. Just catch it in. And take our scissors and just trim away the stem. And I'm just going to pull all these fibers back. Thread round. Right, now what we want to do is just take our hair's mask and what we're going to do is just pull off with your finger and thumb some fur from around the mask itself. And we just dub that onto the line, onto your thread, push it up, just a little bit more, and then we're just going to wrap that around the body, take one turn, give it a twist. Some more. With any of these patterns, if you tie them carefully and keep them as neat as possible, we're rushing this one through a little bit. The idea is we just dub it straight up to the bead. To there. Now I want to take the rib and in the opposite direction bring the rib through, put it down tight turns all the way up to the bead. Once you get to the top, a couple of turns over with the thread should lock that off. And just trim away. Now we're at the top, what we want to do is grab these pheasant tails and bring them over the top of the bead. Keep them fairly tight. Take a couple of threads, loops round. Use your finger or thumb and just push them right in. Just pull them up. And just trim them off. Back to the hair's mask for a little bit more dubbing. What I'm going to do is just dub that on right up behind the bead there. Then it's just a case of a couple of turns of the whip finish. If you use a tool of your fingers. When you Get the loop, a little bit of varnish, pull it through, drop it down, trim it off. And that is pretty much a nice scruffy looking peeping caddis or peeping caddis variant.